In this video, I'm going to be talking about reading uh, image files and um, manipulating image or image processing inside MATLAB. So I have a file here called photo.jpg. I have it saved there. This is a photo actually I took um, from Finger Lakes in upstate New York. So I can say clear, close all, and CLC. And I want to define a variable called IMG is equal to IM show, which means or IM read, which means read an image. And I'm going to give the file name, which is photo.jpg. And if I do this and I come to workspace, I can see that an image is created and size of image is a certain number of columns. A row number of certain number of columns and three. This three refers to R, G, and B, like red, red, green, and blue portions of this uh, image. So, um, before I do any, go any further, let me just say image show or I am show image. It's going to create that, but you see that there is a warning here. It means the image is too big, so it's been resized by fifty percent. That's not a big problem for me. I'm okay with that. So now that I have this, the red part is equal to IMG, everything, everything, the first part. Green is equal to IMG, all the rows, all the columns in the second part. And blue, is equal to IMG, all the rows, all the columns in the third one. So you, you can see that now I have three different variables defined and they're the only 2D matrices. The first column, the first value here determines the number of pixels and the height. Uh, the second number, 2048, de determines the number of pixels and the, and the width. I can also say now I am because I've defined I don't want to redo the calculations. I am show red. So this is only the the red part, but I think it's mostly um, gray. What if I say blue? See they're different. But what I can do actually is to convert this image from RGB into grayscale. So IMG gray is the variable. I'm going to say RGB to gray and pass in IMG that I had defined earlier. Now that is this is created here. IMG gray again, uh, just like that. I can say I am show IMG gray and that's going to show me the grayscale of the function. Oh, let me change this back to that and clear IMG gray and CLC here as well. And now do this and it shows me the grayscale of my image. Something else I can do is to crop my image. So image IMG CRP is equal to image. So let me just do this size of image and see what I have. It's 1536 rows. So I want to go from row 500 till say 1250 and has 2400 2048 columns so I'm gonna say go from um, let's say 200 till um, 1980 it's not really important I'm just uh, showing you what you can do with cropping the image with code and all the three values and then I am show IMG CRP if I do this, see that I have cropped the image um, and I wasn't actually expecting to 
for this to happen, but it's basically cool. So um, I, I picked random numbers, but the crop actually became kind of a nice part of the image. I can get rid of a certain um, portion. So I can say IMG is equal to IMG minus IMG everything everything and three. So I'm going to get rid of the blue and let's say I don't want to get rid of I don't want to destroy what I had before. I am show IMG one. Let's see what happens in here. So I got rid of the blue one and the colors changed. I can do the same thing with red. Let's see if I get rid of the red colors, what would happen? And if I get rid of just the green, this is what's going to happen. So um, there is a lot of stuff that you can do with image processing in MATLAB. I showed you um, how to import a MATLAB and how to or how to import an image inside MATLAB or read it inside MATLAB and this part wasn't really helping uh, how to convert it into a grayscale how to crop it and how to um, get rid of some parts of the image or some colors of the image and this should show you also uh, this should, this should also act as a good way or a good example of manipulating uh, basically some arrays. This image that we imported is a three-dimensional uh, three matrix because it has three dimensions here. And the third dimension is basically R, G, and B, red, green, and blue. And everything else is, I think, pretty straightforward to understand from our previous uh, lectures on matrices and arrays. So I hope this lecture was or this tutorial was useful in get, getting you inspired on man, image manipulating in MATLAB and processing photos for research and development.